welcome again to another Fusion 360 tutorial and the topic for this video are arcs so what you want to do is go up to the top where it says create hit that drop down go down to our arc options now we have three listed here the first one is the three point arc very simple we'll go ahead and click on our origin we click you can specify the length of which you want the arc to be. Uh, in this case, we'll just do 200 millimeters. We'll click, a click again, and we can go up on our, our y, positive Y axis, and we can decide how much of a curve we want on our arc and how far we want it to go out. Once you have uh, done that, you can click once again, and you have your arc amazing and once again this is blue so it's not constrained like I said and I keep saying we'll go over constraints because uh, it is a very fun topic if you can hear the sarcasm in that uh, so we'll go over to our other arc center point arc as you can imagine we're gonna place this on our uh, place where we want the center of our arc to be and this is going to be the outer edge of our arc so basically the radius so you can either go in either direction once you click and you can specify a certain degree or angle that you want the arc to be uh, we'll go 135 and it will then specify the arc pretty snazzy we're going to go to our third option of our arc which is a tangent arc so uh, for this example, I'm going to put a line first with the L command. If you remember, this is your test. Uh, arc, go to our tangent arc. What's nice about this is we can go to the end of our line here where that little uh, button is. We can click on that, and now it will stay hooked up to our line. And you can go about making an arc wherever you want, and it will always stay on that one point and uh, this is only a two-point arc so once you have the tangent it will stick to the uh, end of the line so and then you click oop, click and then now you have this really beautiful looking arc that is attached to this line because it is tangent all right so that pretty much wraps up arcs so i believe the next uh, lesson will be on polygons. All right, that sounds like a fun topic. All right, can't wait. Hopefully you guys stick around for the next video and uh, hope to see you there. We can walk through that one. Once we get all these 2D sketch tools, uh, we'll probably move on to constraints and uh, psych yourself up because it's fun. It's really not that bad. It's just kind of a hassle sometimes. But anyway, stick around. Hope to see you in the next video.